Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Suyin and today's video is going to be about how to survive sales as an introvert. So I hope you like it and enjoy the video. Okay, so I guess let's start off with what is introversion. And for those of you who don't know, I am actually an introvert. I guess we can define it this way, you can look it up online, but the way I look at it is if you require to expand your energy when you're spending time with people in social situations, then you are an introvert. That's not to say that extroverts don't lose energy, but they tend to get really hyped up and really excited and you know like pumped after spending time with people, whereas for people like me who identify with being more introverted, we need to recuperate and like permit even um, after spending a bit of time with people. And you know what they say about introverts, they're usually a bit shy or they hang out in small groups. And I guess that is a little bit true. We're not always shy, but I do gravitate towards hanging out with people in smaller settings because I enjoy it that way. The depth of the conversation is better. And I guess like no one feels left out, especially I don't feel left out, which is an important thing. Okay, so what does this have to do with sales? I transitioned from my teacher role into a sales role. And as you know, this is a financial channel on investing and money. I wanted to find ways to earn more money. And the natural thing I gravitated to was sales because that is something that I can, you know, directly correlate. I do this amount of work and I get this amount of results and then I can negotiate for a higher salary based on my results and everything is, you know, like, I guess like proof, right? So that's why I joined sales and I realized quite early on that sales as an introvert looks a little bit different because people assume if you are a salesperson, you are charismatic, you are like the center of attention, you enjoy being the center of attention, maybe you're, uh, you know how to hold your own in a conversation and in, and, and in a crowd, right? You like public speaking. So I think there are, that is typically what we think salespeople look like, but there are introverts who do sales and we can manage just fine and we can perform pretty well as well. So here are some tips and tricks. I'm going to share three of them with you. And the first one is this when it comes to sales. So I'm in sales in a non-finance, non-MLM, non-insurance uh, yeah, type of industry. And I had to do a lot of cold calls in order to build my customer base. It was like a new new business so i did a lot of cold callings and a lot of first time meetings with customers you know as you do and i found it completely terrifying to do cold calls i would be sitting in the office and i'd be so shy i'd be like oh i really don't want to pick up this phone and call this person and there's this really funny meme that or like real that i want to share with you oh, i don't want to do this <laughs> Please don't pick up. Please don't pick up. <laughs> Hi, is this Tony? Hi, this is- And that was kind of how I felt with every single early stage cold call. But what I can tell you is just get over that first phase because it gets better and better from there. What we want to do is kind of um, desensitize ourselves from this fee uh, from this action of doing these cold calls and meeting these customers for the first time because the um, the more amount of times that we do it repeatedly right we get better at it or we get over ourselves and get over our fears and that was something that really helped me especially because we know that activation energy to get started to picking up that phone or to you know, making that appointment with your customer. That's the hardest part. And then just showing up, everything else kind of fits into place after that. So the second tip that I want to share with you on how to survive as an introverted salesperson is to allow your customers to do more of the talking. And this is something that I learned quite early on and it has saved me so much in every client situation where 
our introverted tendencies is to not talk that much anyway because we are living mostly in our internal world and the external world is something that we live in but the internal conversations that we have in our heads you know what I'm talking about is often louder and we spend more time there so when it comes to client facing situations we tend to get a little bit awkward or at least I do and it really helps me when I get my customers to talk more and this is really helpful in two parts one because it allows the customer to actually tell you what exactly they want and you know, as um, this famous saying, I don't, I don't know where my dad got it from, but he says, when you help people get what they want, you will get what you want as well, especially in sales. So whatever the customer wants, whether it's a problem solved, whether it's something to do with the way the service was conducted previously with other suppliers, or whether it's, you know, a price issue or a timing issue, all of these you won't get to know if you're doing all the talking as a salesperson. It's really important to listen in as to what they actually want so you can also help them get what they want and in return, what you get is the sale and hopefully the profits that come along with the sale and the commission. One sec. Uh. And the second part that is the two prong method to this is that you are also getting the benefit as an introvert of not doing the talking when you allow your customer to talk. So how do we actually do this? Maybe it is from practice that we are able to maneuver our way around the conversation but what I tend to do is I like to ask the customer about themselves. I want to get to know them on a personal level and when you ask people about their life experiences, their thoughts, they are often more than happy to share with you a lot to do with themselves and a lot to do with the business even. So this is the perfect combination because you are getting to know them on a personal level and that's what I believe makes for good sales where you are actually looking for that repeated experience and that relationship building and also to you enable someone to feel more comfortable in your presence and they're more likely want to spend uh, they're more likely to want to spend more time with you in the time to come so yes get your customer to talk more it's perfect for introverts now the third point an essential survival tip it is to plan your social calendar so as part of being a salesperson it is very easy to get caught up in that never ending to-do list, that never ending, um, I don't know, like lead generated list of uh, people and prospects that you can call and talk to and make appointments with. So it's really important to plan out your week so that it is, you know, not too over overwhelming in terms of like, oh, like you've seen a bunch of um, customers back to back and now you're just overwhelmed and also drained and burnt out. That's one of the things that I experienced myself that at first it feels completely exhausting for I guess like a number of reasons because maybe we are also let's just say if we are at the start of this journey or maybe we're still getting our footing in this journey it feels very mm, it feels very challenging because we are sucky at it or like we we are not a master at it yet so anything that is difficult anything that is a new beginning we we're gonna need to be able to suck it up through the sucky periods where literally we are not really good at what we do just yet the action of planning this social calendar gives you pockets of time to recharge and recuperate um, in between all of your cold calling customer visits and all of that so it is important to not um, to not overwhelm yourself with too many things going on and this includes your own personal social calendar let's say you've had a long day of client visits maybe it is not as beneficial for you to jump into a giant like birthday party right after work i don't know what works for you but personally if it's been a long day of work a long day of traveling i wouldn't tend to set up a lot of plans that 
has to do with like a large number group of people. What I like to do personally is I set aside time for just myself within within uh, the calendar week, whether it's during a work day or whether it's during a weekend. I carve out pockets of time where I'm just like not talking to anybody. It's just me, myself, spending time doing things that I like, whatever it is, whether it's like researching companies, whether it's decompressing, not looking at social media, not looking at anything technology and whatever works for you. But essentially plan your calendar and carve out pockets of time for just yourself. So I'm gonna give you two more optional bonus tips on top of the first three. And that is really to read a lot or watch a lot of videos to do with sales. And for me in particular, something that really helped me were, you know, the famous books like, um, uh, what's it called? It's How to Win Friends and Influence People. That is a great book. And also Influence by Robert Cialdini. And there are like a whole ton of videos that are available for free on YouTube. I think you can uh, listen to those audiobooks on YouTube and you can change like the, the speed of um, listening as well. But really what's helpful there is to really understand like human behavior and what we are you know what we like, like how people respond. A lot of these things are very nuanced and um, we tend to forget very easily, right? So that would be something that's super helpful. And also a super, super, super bonus tip is to get two phone lines, one for your personal line and the second one for your sales line. And the reason for this as an introvert that I find super, super helpful is that you know, I don't have this hate relationship whenever I pick up my phone because if I integrated, this is the theory, if I integrated both of my phones into that one single device, then every single time my phone buzzes, pings, or I don't know, I get a call, I will feel like, ooh, is it to do with work? And then I guess that would change the relationship of me using my phone. So I know for a fact that every time my work phone rings, it's to do with something business or something work related. So I'm good in that sense. And it didn't detract from my relationship with my personal phone device. Those are my three tips for surviving sales as an introvert. I hope you liked this video. It was a requested video by one of my subscribers. So I hope it helps you and yeah. That's it for the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!